Hey there, this is Endless, and I'm in the test server. And I just want to give you the basics of how to do a bombing run. Now, first of all, you got to get into a, a bomber, and you've got to equip it with a covert ops cloaking device and a bomb launcher, one or two, whatever you can fit. And of course, you need a couple bombs. And real quick, if you look at the bombs info and go to attributes, you're going to see a couple things. You're going to see its max flight time, which is 10 seconds. And you're going to see its max velocity, which is uh, 3 kilometers a second. So that means it's going to go 30 kilometers before it explodes. So that's important. Keep that in mind. So I'm going to undock and we're going to find uh, somebody to bomb. This is a test server, so you can put in this server, in this system, you can pretty much attack wherever except on the station. So let's see what we can find. All right, I've gone to one of the combat areas, and as you can see, there's quite a few targets to pick. Uh, let's actually pick something I can hurt. So there we go, purifier. So what you want to do is align towards the target you want to hit. This one's actually not good because I don't have an easy way out. Because your secondary goal is you want to make sure that as soon as you de can decloak and the bomb hits, you can warp away. So what do we got? We got a Belgorn. I can put a little damage on a Belgorn. I'm not going to kill it by any means. So as soon as he hits 30 kilometers, I'm going to decloak and drop the bomb. Now I'm aligned towards him, so you don't have to de you don't have to lock him. The bomb will just kind of fly out of the ship and after 30 kilometers explode. And then I'm just going to warp that way. So he's at 32, 31. All right, decloaking, dropping the bomb. Let's give it a few seconds. And I'm going to warp. warp drive active. Let's see. So let's see what damage it did. I can actually pull up my log. And see everything it did. So I got a bunch of drones, did 3,800 damage to the Revelation, 1,000 to a Phoenix, nicked a couple torpedoes. May not have actually hit the Belgorn. Oh, nope, there it is. So 2,500 damage to the Belgorn. So, oh, I got another Belgorn apparently. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff really close. So, you know, one bomb, it's an AOE. You can get a lot of targets. You can actually do multiple stealth bombers. Uh, you just got to time your bombs right or else they'll blow each other up. But that's really the basics of it. Decloak, drop the bomb, wait for a bit, and warp off grid. If you want, you can stay, just don't get too close to the bomb. And uh, that's pretty much it. Well, thanks for watching.